my name is Katie, welcome to my channel. Um, this video for you today is going to be a sequence for you to practice at the end of your day. So whether you've been busy at work or busy with the kids or just general running errands, rushing around. Um, so you want to get on your mat and you want to do something but you're not quite sure if you've got the energy to really do a lot of standing poses or flow about your mat too much. So this is designed to help you just get rid of any tension you might be feeling within the body without putting in too much effort, exerting any more energy, especially if you're spent at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a seated practice. So if you wanna grab a cushion or a block or anything to sit on, if that makes you feel more comfortable to help raise the hips, then do so. Um, otherwise, we're gonna meet in Sukhasana on the mat. So. Come into your comfortable seated position. You might even decide that you want to take half lotus or full lotus if that uh, feels comfortable for you in your practice. And we'll place the hands onto the knees. Okay, lift up so you've got a long spine. And take a moment, just roll the shoulders back. Now, if you have spent time over a desk or your posture's been compromised today, then this might feel like it requires a little bit of effort to start with, but don't worry, we're gonna hopefully get into any of that tension you're holding on to in the shoulders and the neck here. So relax through the jaw and take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. Close the eyes and take a few moments here to ground down through the sit bones and noticing that if there's any space, any hollowness within the back, if you can lengthen the spine by drawing the belly in, bringing a bit more length to the front of the pelvis, do so. And tune in to see how the breath is flowing through the body this evening. So how does it feel to take that breath in? And out. Don't worry if you're noticing that the it's quite challenging for you to lift the breath all the way up into the chest at the moment. That's really natural, especially if you've been quite hectic through the day. So don't be hard on yourself, just work on lengthening the breath, bringing more quality to your breathing. Noticing the shoulders, any tension that may be there. And on your next inhale, can you squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears? Exaggerate the exhale, dropping them down. Inhale, squeeze them up. Exhale down. here noticing any sensations that are running through the body at the moment. If you are noticing any tension in a particular area. And then release the head down, bring the chin towards the chest and interlace the fingers around the back of the head. Drop the elbows towards the floor, so don't push your head down, but just allow the hands to rest gently there. Now take the hands down to the knees, keep the head down and then gently do some half neck rolls, so go over towards the right shoulder and bring the head back through centre, chin to the chest, over to the left side. And in your own time, make your way from shoulder to shoulder. Center and lift the head up. And reach the 
the arms up overhead, opening the eyes, palms together, down to heart center. Inhale, reaching up high. Exhale, through to the heart. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Take the left hand across to the right leg. Sweep the right hand behind you. So lifting up tall through the spine. Maybe taking a twist. And then come through center over to the other side. This is bringing some small movements in through the spine. Especially if you've been, as I say, slumped in any way at the desk or driving a lot, it can really compromise the posture. So this is getting some nice twisting action into the spine here. And come back through to center and then walk the hands out in front of you. Okay, relax the head towards the floor. You don't have to have the heart all the way to the floor. You just Allowing yourself that stretch through the spine, relaxing the head so you're not holding on to the neck in any particular way. Good. Walk the hands back and towards you. Switch the other foot over in front, okay, and then walk the hands back out. And then bring the hands in. Yeah, take the right hand to the floor, reach over with the left arm. Okay, reaching all the way through the fingertips, stretching the side of the body. You can even drop down onto the forearm here or onto a block or a pillow. And then breathing into the side of the body. Okay, press into that hand, engage through the belly, and come up over to the other side. So the left hand or forearm comes down, the right arm sweeps over, and we lengthen through the fingertips. Breathe into the rib cage, expand in. Take the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana, sort of working in opening the hips, especially if you've had some inflection today, and this can be nice to bring some relief into the hip joints. So you don't have to come forward, <coughs> excuse me, again cranky. So you can either stay just seated here in stillness. If you want to, you can start to take that fold forward, but just see how you feel. Breathing in and out through the nose. You can close the eyes here. One more breath. And then bring yourself up if you folded forward. Work the knees together and then come down onto your back. So we're gonna take the right leg towards the ceiling. Now you can clasp around the back of the leg here, maybe to the calf. If you've got a strap, it can be nice to place the strap around your foot. If you reach the toes, you can take the first two fingers around the big toes here. Now what we wanna do is keep this shoulder as grounded as we can, drawing the thigh in towards the belly. Good. You can close the eyes. This is the end of the day. You know, you're getting ready to settle down, maybe go to bed after this. So feel free to close the eyes. Yeah, release that right foot across the top 
of the left leg. Now this is a good option to stay here, okay? You don't have to go any further than this. You do want to get a bit more into the hip area, but then bring the left leg in towards you, clasping either around the back or around in front of the shin. Yeah, we keep that flow of breath nice and steady through the nostrils. Take both of the feet down and extend the left leg up. Okay, again, place the hand wherever feels comfortable for you on this side. It might be completely different to the other. One more breath. Across the top of the right leg this time, hugging it in behind the leg or in front of the shin. And just release the feet down towards the floor. Okay, into a spinal twist. Take both of the knees over to the right side. You can keep your hand on top of the knees here to help encourage that twist. Turning the head to the left. And again, you can have the eyes closed. Maybe the eyes are still closed. Okay, that's fine. Relax through the jaw. Come up to center, over to the other side. So knees are coming to the left, and then the right arm is coming out, and the head's turning to the right. And then come up to center into happy baby. Draw the thighs towards the belly and then widen the knees. Keep the, the tops of the thighs towards the, the belly, lift the lower part of the leg. Take a hold of the ankles or hands come to the outside edges of the feet and then draw the knees down just either side of the rib cage. And bring some length into the spine. So if you're lifting up from the lower part of the back, bring it down towards the floor. Some people like to stay still in Happy Baby, others like to rock from side to side so you can feel that lower back massage. Okay, it's entirely up to you, see how you feel. Good. Okay, bring your big toes together, then draw the knees together. You're going to extend the legs all the way down to the floor and bring the palms down next to you facing up. So here, if your eyes are still open, now's the point to close your eyes. So at the moment, just to lift the heels of the feet up, ensure that they're fully relaxed and the feet are rolling out to the sides. Lift the shoulders up, brace them back down. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just relax your toes, your feet, and the lower part of the leg. Notice the calf muscle on the mat. The thighs rolling out. softness from the belly. If you notice a gap between the lower part of the back and your mat, if that's feeling uncomfortable for whatever reason, 
You can bend the knees, take the feet wide and drop the knees together. And then relax the fingers, the lower part of the arm, the shoulders, space between the teeth, the softness between the brows. Bring yourself completely into stillness. The breath will be flowing just as it wants to. There's nothing that you have to force here. Here, just ground in for a few more moments. Bring the hands onto the chest. And find gratitude for something in your day. So whether you've been at work, or you've just spent your day with your children, or you're shopping, you're cleaning, whatever it is, find gratitude. Bring the knees in towards you. Bring your arms around the front of the shins. Have a little rock from side to side. Roll over onto your right side and take a pause there. We're not going to rush up too quickly, so just let yourself pause on the right side of the body. And you can use your hands to push yourself up into seated and start to open the eyes. Oh, so I hope that practice has helped just wind you down from your day. Um, so this can be done right before you jump into bed or maybe now you want to go have yourself a bath, take a nice warm shower and um, get yourself a, a warm drink and settle down for a good night's rest. Thank you very much for practicing with me today. If you've enjoyed this video, if you could please like it, uh, it really helps to support my channel. Um, and feel free to drop me any comments or any questions. I'm happy to hear from you. So thank you very much.